ahead this morning, parents uniting how groups across the country are demanding lawmakers take steps to keep hateful ideology like anti-Semitism out of schools. Dozens of parental rights groups want the federal government to end anti-Semitic curriculum and address inaccurate material they say is creating divisive and hostile environments for America's children. One of those groups is Parents Defending Education and the Director of Outreach, Erica Sanzi, joins us this morning with more on this. Good morning to you. Good morning, Jan. It is a very impressive list of 36 parental rights groups representing nearly 500,000 members, parents all across the country. You guys sent that letter to Education Secretary Miguel Cardona. So tell us about the letter and the material being taught in America's classrooms. Sure. So with all the focus on the college campuses, and of course it makes sense that there is focus there, um, we decided that we also really needed to shine a spotlight on what's going on in K-12. And so we at Parents Spending Education brought together 35 organizations um, to sign and send um, this coalition letter. And essentially it's, we want to make sure that the Secretary of, Secretary of Education, Miguel Cardona, is aware of the anti-Jewish and anti-Israel content um, and rhetoric that have become really common in too many schools, um, often under the guise of ethnic studies courses, as we've talked about before, but also in the form of classroom decorations, student walkouts that are organized by adult groups, including sometimes teachers union affiliates, and lessons that come out and explicitly talk about Jews being oppressors and accuse Israel of ethnic cleansing and genocide. Um, so we just really felt like this was the right time so that even and that the public also would understand that Yes, there's a big problem on college campuses, but it's not limited to that educational space and that there is also a big problem in K-12. Right, because you're saying this is happening with our children here in America. So it sounds like a pretty broad spectrum of things you guys specifically want to see. What kind of action are you are you hoping uh, will uh, happen as a result of these letters? Well, I mean, if students and staff are in a hostile environment, they really don't have equal access to education. So again, we want the Secretary of Education to acknowledge that this is happening. We want to see evidence um, that, that he's not just you know giving us lip service, but that, that he has looked at documentation, that he understands that this is a real problem, and then you know takes some sort of action in pulling the levers that he has. I mean, one of the levers obviously is you cannot be you know getting public funding and federal dollars for schools when you are um, expecting students to learn in an environment that is hostile based on their ethnicity, race, national origin, etc. And so. Um, I think that an acknowledgement first, which we have, I don't even think ever really gotten, and then um, you know a move towards some sort of pressure on school districts to pull this out by the roots immediately. Last week, Senator Marco Rubio introduced a bill to safeguard U.S. schools from the influence also of foreign adversaries, something we've also talked about a lot here. Talk about the significance of a bill like this and how it's going to impact higher education and K-12 schools alike. Yeah, I think this is another issue where people have sort of been asleep at the switch. Um, and also, no one really thinks that you would have the Chinese Communist Party and linked entities to that party um, sending money to our K-12 schools. But in our investigation, we just found that this was a really pervasive problem that um, foreign entities and especially China were really sending quite a bit of money to K-12 schools. In one district, it was over $3 million. And again, it's we're not ready to conclude exactly that something nefarious is happening, but it's pervasive enough in terms of across the country. It's in a lot of places, very close to our military bases. It's in a lot of our STEM schools. So to, I think Marco Rubio, Senator Rubio is beginning to say this, it, we are seeing um, malign foreign influence trying to make their way into our classrooms wow. and we've got to set up a robust defense of that and I think this is the beginning of that. You do have to question when you look at something like three million dollars being sent what are they getting in return and I think that is certainly a fair question and a, a fair assessment from Marco Rubio when you consider the bill that he put forth. Erica Sanzi the uh, outreach director for Parents Defending Education we appreciate you joining us this morning. Have a great weekend. You too. Thanks Jan.